Hey everyone, this is Disk Junkie, and today I'm here to review Justin Russell's The Sleeper. And this is a limited edition DVD VHS combo box set, uh, which is actually exclusive to Gamma Knife Films, the distribution company, which is actually also. Uh, run and owned by Justin Russell himself. So anyway, I can mention that I got this from uh, the official Gamma Knife Films website. It's actually the only place to get this. They do also sell it through Amazon, but that is basically the Amazon uh, marketplace, so it's actually Gamma Knife themselves who are selling it uh, over there as well. This is limited to 500 copies. They made an initial batch, which basically sold out the date was released. Uh, they've now restocked it, and I'm not entirely sure how many copies are left. Uh, but if you want to, you know, be sure to get one, uh, be sure to go and order it uh, ASAP. Because uh, once these are gone, they're gone, and like I said, there's only 500 of them. So, uh, anyway, for stars, as you can tell here, we actually have a cardboard slipcase, which is uh, it's pretty thin, but it's matte printing. They've also printed all these creases and, uh, you know, little damage and stuff like that so it really looks like one of these you know like vintage looking uh, VHS boxes. They put a lot of thought into uh, sort of ma ma even making the artwork for the movie uh, very much in a sort of retro style. In fact you know even the, the whole movie is sort of made to look like an 80s movie and uh, I think it really comes through on screen and you know I, I really liked this movie. I thought it was a, was a lot of fun and uh, they definitely uh, pull off the whole sort of 80s theme. Take off the slip case, which, uh, like I mentioned, you know, it's not uh, extremely thick, uh, but it's actually pretty well built. Got a good cardboard base in there, so it feels like it will uh, keep the shape or, yeah, whatever you want to say. I don't really have any, any complaints about this. It's, uh, it's a very nice design and uh, definitely a very, very cool item to have in my collection. The spine on this actually reads GKFR002, uh, you know, like the catalog number. And the reason why this is number two is that the DVD is uh, GKFR001. Uh, so this is their first official release. The VHS tape, which is in here, that is the part which is actually 002. So the VHS tape uh, is only included in this box. You can't get it anywhere else. That's the reason why the box actually says 002, whereas the DVD says 001. So this is the first official release from Gamma Knife Films ever. I mean, they're a distribution company and a production company, uh, which, like I said, you know, it, it's actually the director's own company. So, you know, uh, that sort of makes it all, all the cooler to me. I think it's really fun to see uh, such a young director, especially, uh, who um, turns out to make this really, really awesome film, which definitely stands out. Uh, as for the artwork on the DVD, I think this is really cool as well. Certainly looks like one of those movies from the 80s. And um, oh yeah, this this quote sort of says it all. And I think this was really nicely done. What Ty West did for the 70s, Justin Russell has done for the 80s. But I really, you know, I really think this pinpoints it because uh, just like you know, uh, House of the Devil, directed by uh, Ty West, that was also released in a DVD VHS combo, and that movie was made very much to look like a 70s movie. You know, it's awesome to see uh, VHS's sort of coming back uh, in this way, and I'm really seeing a, a crazy, uh, crazy future for this, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm betting there will be a lot of companies that will sort of latch on and start releasing uh, these limited edition VHS tapes, so I think that's really cool. VHS is definitely not dead, it's just, it, it's back from the dead, to say the least. Uh, here's the disc. Sort of simple, like the like the article on this. And oh, this was really cool, by the way. I had no idea what this was all about, and this was included inside uh, the box. I mean, like the the shipping box just had this, uh, you know, as, a, as an extra item. Uh, this is uh, a reproduction, uh, I have to say, because I actually checked with uh, with Justin himself, and it is a reproduction. But as you can tell, it is basically an invite to uh, the sisters of Alpha Gamma Theta uh, to their annual pledge party and uh, I didn't know what this was all about before seeing the movie but as I watched it I was sort of you know seeing these invites on screen and was like what the fuck I mean that's that's the invite I got in the box laying out in the DVD room so that's like just an awesome way to promote the movie and a really really fun bonus anyway uh, a bit of a close-up look at the back cover here just in case you missed anything and 
yeah, now you can basically see me in the reflection there, which makes it all the more creepy. As you can tell, we got some special features as well. Comes with theatrical trailer, uh, director's commentary, uh, and uh, the making of, which is called Shooting a Nightmare in 13 Days. Uh, and like it says here, it's actually an hour long featurette, so uh, that was actually pretty cool and uh, sort of gave you a nice look into uh, all the different scenes of the movie and sort of how they were done and stuff. So, yeah, I had a lot of a lot of enjoyment from that part. Uh, then we got Joe Bob Briggs Drive in Total, uh, which is a very sort of, uh, you know, uh, it's a guy called Joe Bob Briggs uh, who's sort of famed as this commentator who did like like the Drive in Totals. Uh, you know, I, I never saw them uh, in reality, but I'm guessing, you know, you can probably find footage of that. Um, and so he just basically sits in chair and talks about this movie uh, as being a movie they found in like an old vault and it's actually an 80s movie so it sort of talks about you know how many tits do you get to see how many deaths are in the movie and like you know what kind of death scenes are there like how do people die and stuff like that so uh, it's a very sort of fun uh, sort of drive-in theater uh, style thing which you know, I, I thought was really humorous and sort of a fun bonus and then we got the lost uh, trailer series uh, which is basically a um, fake trailer segment sort of like the fake trailers in in the grindhouse uh, box from tarantino and rodriguez and it was a pretty fucking cool trailer i really really enjoyed it that's it for the dvd it's gonna try to stop blather on about stuff but you know i think this is a it's a really fun, fun release, so it's sort of hard to not get carried away. This is the VHS tape, the limited edition VHS tape, which, uh, as you can tell, it's a red, very lovely choice, and it even comes with this 50 cent charge if tape is not rewound sticker, uh, which is really cute. Well, you know, th this basically has the movie on it. I can't actually watch this, <laughs> uh, which might sound ridiculous, uh, but, you know, I live in Sweden and I don't actually have uh, a VHS player at the time which can read uh, NTSC. I only have a PAL uh, formatted, uh, you know, player. You know, they are uh, becoming increasingly uh, harder to get uh, because, you know, people just throw VHS players away these days. No one thinks they're worth anything and now they've sort of become like these lost objects of... Uh, well, of the past, I guess, because everyone just threw them away like a couple of years back and now nobody has them. I don't know what to say. Um, be sure to support this. I mean, check out the website uh, of Gemini Films. Be sure to get a copy of this before they're gone because I'm pretty sure this will uh, end up as uh, quite an awesome collectible and I'm pretty sure they will be uh, very sought after once they're gone. So, yeah. That's it for me today. Uh, really hope you enjoyed this and as usual, hope to see you all next time.